staying at home and that you don't get too bored so therefore I have for you another exciting project to complete uh, this time I want us to work on so-called nocturnal, nocturnal cityscape what it means nocturnal it means that we paint the cityscape or the city during the night time and if it comes to the night we don't see any detail right we only see the silhouette of the buildings like we can see it here right so we will see some chimneys couple of chimneys we will see roofs and the big mass of dark dark color that will represent the city what we need to have here is the sky and the sky has to be vibrant the sky has to have different colors it could be a red purplish color pinkish color in case um, in case of this particular beautiful painting or I want to see this color it's a red you see and what the students have done at the end once the buildings were placed on the student decided to use the marker the silver market creating this uh, the uh, uh, stars as well as the moon so you can do it even placing it in the windows another example and in this case we have the nocturnal landscape so again the colors are placed um, in the back the colors that nicely move one into another it's such a color as i think this is the the gold color copper gold color a little bit of pink here moving to the purple and of course the marker and you can use the marker at the end if you wish now we have also silhouettes of the trees and the whole link into the sky into the moon walls um a very good example of the landscape uh, of the cityscape is here what we have again we have a sky that it's not really super dark you see the darkness left for the buildings and the sky has this beautiful translucent quality when you can really see almost through one color moving into another color as well as the background you see that means on what this color was placed and of course with silver markers the student decided to put uh, to paint the moon and the and the stars another example here you see so but anyway there's the silhouette um, of the buildings this time the buildings are purplish so what the student used instead of using black paper he or she decided to use the light purplish color and another one here as you I'm sorry as you can see so in our case I don't want to use any really heavy paint such as acrylic or even oils or I would say tempera I want to rely on something what you for sure have at home and for broad purpose, I want to use just the black paper. I'm sure you can find it at home. So one sheet of black paper and another one of the white paper, right? Which should be more or less of the same size, right? So here we have a white paper on which we will paint our sky. For painting the sky, I suggest that we will use um, just watercolor paint. So watercolors are here. My container with water is on my side here. You don't need to even see it. Brushes, guys, and I just have to have lots of optimism and paint and decide why painting, which colors will I use here? Because I really want to have the sky to be really beautiful, okay? So let's see. Remember, on the bottom here, we will have a silhouette. But right now, on this stage, I just need some beautiful colors applied here in the background. So I will have it, like you see here, fast, fast, fast. Maybe a little bit of purple here as well. You see, so I'm bringing it here. I need to have lots of water because the more water I apply, you see, then going with uh, various colors on the top, um, those colors will blend by itself so that means I will have less control they will they will move that's how it's happening in the nature right you don't use rulers to paint the sky not at all when you look at um, on the uh, northern lights you can see how freely the colors move from from salad and green 
uh, to yellow to blue sometimes even have a little bit of, of red in it so you see this is quite a nice combination right and we let this paper dry in the meantime what we want to do while this paint uh, will dry we want to concentrate on and i place the paper again somewhere on the side i want us to work on cutting out the silhouette of the building and our silhouette just to remind you here i will show again a couple of those works here this one or this one here we have to this time use the ruler so i have my ruler here and i need to have a pencil and I need to have a pencil because pencil will give me, oh, yo, yo, what has happened to my ruler? Uh, it will dry, don't worry. So I will decide, this is, this is the bottom of my paper here. And now I have to decide how those buildings will go. So I create a horizontal line here. And then I will work with vertical lines. All what I will be using are horizontal and vertical lines. You can see the line, it's silvery, we can see it well. So now I'm going with vertical line and I want to show you here on the side, you see? So I have, I have my first building here. I'm creating the line, vertical line, and I will have first building here, see? Then I decide that my other building, let's see, will be of this height, okay, here. Okay, that will be the other building. Then I want to have another one. I have to bring it up. You see the line? I don't even need to go here. You see the other will go here. And you can put as many lines as you want. Don't worry about this part here because we can always turn it on the other side, the paper, and the lines that, for example, this one here won't be visible at all. So I want to have a taller building here. I can even draw it by the hand and later with the ruler improve the shape of it, right? Like really to get those sharp edges. Yeah, that's my other building here. I think I want to have a really lower building here and actually I will put some roofs as well right so i make those smaller buildings here there will be another line here you see here will be another building see the line is not the best one so i have to go create really vertical line and what i oh actually you know what i would even bring here this cut here right so you can see the different sizes of the buildings maybe i make one roof here like this right then maybe i make another roof coming here uh, this will be case scrapper. This will be also the taller one here. Maybe I make a something, another building coming here. Case scrapper. I have to have it really tall here. You see one, and then I want to have. Let's see. They are coming too much on the same line. So maybe I will have a little bit taller here. I don't want to have the same line all over, right? the building that doesn't happen so often now we have to have a little bit of space here maybe this one even will go higher you see here and i will finish some of these buildings can even go this way here they are interesting okay so we go here and then will be a lower one here now what i will do I will cut it, cut it out, you see, with scissors here, very fast, right, see, I can even go here, so I have to strategically do it, right, because I have one line here, this is the first one, initial line, or the first one that I applied, see, here I have the roof, notice, here I have the roof, so I'm cutting here and I have to sure cuts. Remember, when something doesn't work the way you want, you can always come back and create another line and again, carefully follow. See how nice it will look? Actually, this is too much of the same. So I will cut it here and I will make another building here. That will look better. Okay. Or maybe even here I will cut it. I like to do some changes, you see? So I'll have my building here. Now I'm going back here. See, do you see it here? Because I'm never sure if I show you everything. I'm so excited to um, to work on this project or on my project that I forget really about um, how much you can see of it, what I'm doing. And that is important, right? So 
so please make me aware when you see that you can't see what I'm exactly doing. See, I like to cut it right away here. It will be easier for me later to go inside. Okay, here we go. Boom. Another cut here. Another cut here. See, we'll cut it here. We'll cut it here. And you know what? Ours really silhouette is there see those buildings if you decide that you want to put windows here you can or you can choose something else like you see here and that will be our city so now i have to i will use this side here i will simply glue it now to the paper here here going quite precise you see here and then that's what I will have here. That's what I will have here. Wow, look at this. Look at this, you see our beautiful city in uh, during the night or at night is there. Right? Now with your choice you can decide if you want to include some other elements in your painting. So, for example, if you want to, you see, with the marker, you can create a moon, right? You can create some stars here if you want to, right? But it's up to you. You don't need to. If you want to place, let me see. I'm looking if I have another marker here, but I think I have all of them on the same. So, I have a white marker. And with this white marker, maybe I will come here, you see, and I will create a brighter color here. Maybe I will create a couple of stars here, but they will be having this white color on because I don't have another marker. And again, if we don't have something what we think would be good, then as artists, we always will, will look for another material that can substitute it. And sometimes, believe me or not, the other, the alternative option could be even better at the end. So you see, that would be my beautiful, my beautiful nocturnal uh, cityscape. So I hope, guys, that you enjoyed. Oh, wait a second, I found another marker. And this is the jelly one, right? So, oh, this works well. You see, I can have a couple more of the stars here. And if you think that the building should have some windows, you can always apply them. But that's what we have here. So, you can see it. It's not really difficult to create those projects. You just have to have these creative ideas. And then, with lots of optimism, gusto, work on them. So, I hope that you will have lots of fun. Uh, and work on it until the next time when we will see us. Have a good day and bye!